Alright, this is uh, the second take on my, uh, this video. Um, hey guys, it's me, Jake Airfan. And, uh, Abiko, Abiko just sent me a video about Internet 2. This new censorship policy the government's come up with. Their new internet interface. Uh, this is also the second take of this video. By the way, um, yeah, it's, it's, I'm going to be rant about censorship and internet too. Now, I know I already did a full on ramp, but I need to say what censorship is before I actually rant about um, internet too. Okay. What censorship is, it's pretty much limiting content and all that, you know. Sometimes it's for good reasons, sometimes it's for bullshit, you know. I mean, like, it's kind of like, you know, YouTube with the freaking censorship policy. You can't curse your videos, otherwise it gets algorithmic, devoted, demoted. Yeah, it's kind of like that. And so, Internet 2 is censorship to the next level. It's like it's a fascist dictatorship. Yes, I'm getting it. I'm quoting that from Scott Kornmeyer. Now, I know he didn't make a video on this, but yeah. It's a fascist dictatorship. That's what the internet is trying to become. It's like a dictatorship. They want to monitor. The government wants to monitor every of our moves. It's a dictatorship right there for you. They just want to control every, you know. Okay, Internet 2, it's going to also, you have to pay for every website you go to. And I mean every website, sorry about that. Every website you go to, you have to pay. You have to pay some fees or whatever. I mean, why tax the Internet? You're already paying for it for the cable provider or whatever. Isn't it bad enough you're paying the cable provider? I guess not, because the government's too greedy to... Corporate greedy, and you know, they're gonna delete all types of websites like YouTube, MySpace, Facebook, uh, fan sites, anime websites, you know, it's all in our sites, it's all gonna be deleted. And I heard from um, Kakio Song that the only websites are gonna have is government institutes, videos, major corporations, and educational websites. But if they're gonna do, but if they're gonna delete every website on the old internet, that's a bad thing. All right, I mean you got all these businesses trying to make money, and all these teachers using the internet to learn stuff, you know, in school. If you take that away, you're taking away your learning. Censorship is bullshit. I don't care what anybody says. It's unconstitutional. It goes against the First Amendment. I already said this one, but I need to say it again. And not only that, but here's how they monitor you. You know, every time you, like, go to, like, go log on the internet, you have to, like, there's going to be, like, this little thumb scan thing. You have to scan your thumb or whatever, and it'll know, and the government know what you're doing on the internet. If you do something wrong, they're going to, like, take you off the internet permanently, which is bullshit. The internet is, should be allowed to be used by everybody. Alright, it's a learning tool. It's not something that should be monopolized. And you got all these businesses using it. I mean, they could go bankrupt if the internet's not there, you know? And they might, the businesses might not be promoted enough, you know, like Pizza Hut, Walmart, so forth, you know? It's like the New World Order. I need the government wants to control everything, you know? That's bullshit. The government should not be allowed to control internet. anything. The only people who support this are soccer moms and stupid politicians. I mean, do they think they can control everything of the internet? I mean, you're pretty much screwing yourselves. I mean, this is going to make the economy way worse than what it is. Because you delete all these websites that make money, you know, like YouTube and membership club websites, you know, and all that. You take those away, you're pretty much just plumbing the economy downward, you know. I mean, the economy is going to get way worse if this internet, too. Even though it is going to be faster and stronger with connections, it's going to be worse. Because it is taking your, it's also taking away your freedom of speech. 
We are allowed to say whatever we want with interviews, even profanity. Fuck, cock, bullshit, pussy ass, fuck, ass, bitch, asshole, bastard, bloody penis, bloody vagina, bloody tampon. I'll say whatever I want, whatever reason, alright? Because we, you know, we can't let this censorship crap go on. You know, it's just unconstitutional. I know I've been saying that a lot, but seriously. We need a protest against it. I do agree with Kakashi and, um,. Abito Abiko on this. We need to protest it. We cannot let the government push us around just because they think they can be, just because they think they own everything. It's monopoly. Monopoly is bad for any business. Whether it's fast food, computers, retail, whatever. I know it's been said by many, many people many, many times. But seriously, monopoly is not good for anything. That's all I gotta say. Um, oh yeah, I want you to send this video to everybody. Please rate five stars, favor. Please respond to the video below me. Uh, this is gonna be a response to uh, DNX Koo, aka Abado Abiko. Please respond to the video below me. And please send it to all your friends and subscribers and whatever. Please, your f please, I need help with this. Send it to Four Fun, Salem the Geek, Magus. Send it to some of the bigger guys, you know, once I see you. Please, I need your. We need, we need to stand together to defeat this internet censorship because it is fucking bullshit and it's taking away our rights. We need to fight for our rights. I don't care. I don't care if I get. I don't care if YouTube deletes this video with their new current policies right now. We need to stand up for our rights. That's all I gotta say, people. Jay Gamer fan, over and out.